to speak to the impact and importance of HBCUs. Right. Hey folks, happy Wednesday. Hope everyone's been having a good week so far. I've just been, uh, I guess, like moving my stream further to the end of the week, and now it's just working its way back to Sunday. Um, but basically, just been uh, busy on my end um, with stuff. You know, life happens. So just figured I'd try to make up for Sunday, uh, missing it again um, later this week. Uh, and it worked out that this week was, or today was good. Tonight was a good time to just try and slot in a quick stream. So hope everyone's been well. I apparently do not have the ability to uh, successfully drink water right now, but that's okay. <laughs> so, but yeah, about worlds, I, I didn't expect blue to do as well. I didn't expect as much crim as uh, definitely there was the day of. I still need to get back to watching the streams and seeing how everything was but um what i did catch as usual is was was phenomenal um i just worked my way through the second to last match i believe with um odal and cable carnage um cable carnage running <sighs> sable as well and then uh odal was on um outfit a very interesting outfit that i think is posted now that i might try but um I'm still sticking with like working on my runner game, so that's what I got going on tonight. So, um, in the meantime, uh, we could take a look, see what's going on on NRDB. I haven't been keeping up with it as much lately either, but um, yeah. So, oh yeah, I guess we can start here. <laughs> Your Sokka's deck that uh, that he played, I hadn't gotten a chance to watch um, that match, but I remember looking at the discords I'm in and stuff, and then just seeing people like blown away so i ne definitely need to give this one a watch but um from what i understand it was a clearinghouse play and it was a, <laughs> a very impressive one at that so i'll definitely give it a check or uh give it a give it a watch and uh, see how it goes i love the fact that it's btl like btl feels like it came out of nowhere for this win um just a very solid id though especially with mesna chest oh, this this ice is so mean <laughs> so mean It looks like it was a really fun time. Um, don't know how hot it was then, though. <laughs> uh, it's not all in on clearing house. We'll give the the, uh, the overview a quick read. Not again. Hey, how's it going? What is this? It's uh, airplane TL. Hold on. I'm I'm trying to look. <laughs> um. Uh, but let's see, including cards, Gene Splicer, Echo Chamber doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> it shows the first six points, not the last one. All right, cool. Yeah. BTL. <laughs> nice. Okay. I got it. I was like, is that it? Because from what it looks like with the dark background on Twitch, it was like, uh, it looked like an airplane for a second. Although probably I would just switch, just switch back to my glasses um, so I can actually see better. Uh, let's see. Uh, 49 instead of 44 or 20. Yeah, that you know, it surprises me having the 49 in there. Um, but I mean, if, if it works, it works. Uh, secure and protect specifically for Sadaka. Oh, interesting. I also love the in inclusions for the Bio Vault. Um, great card that I don't think you see a lot of. But I mean, it, you naturally get the uh, ability you want out of BTL because then you can um, get advancement get or get a credit back. Um, so I think it's like you're neutral, like you're uh, you get one and then you spend one and then you're fine for, uh, pumping up bio vault. I actually don't think I know what Sadaka does. Yeah. Cause you install, you put one on it and then you, you gain one back for free and then you spend another. Okay. So you only lose one credit. Math is difficult when you're just brain tired all the time. All right. 
Uh, loved in Jinteki Trap Eyes. Look at the top three of R&D and either arrange them in any order or shuffle R&D. You may draw one card. You may trash one card in HQ. If you do, trash one resource. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice way to get rid of um, like twinning in other useful resources that they'd have on the board. Very cool. Have you been doing that again? Did you get a chance to watch um, uh, Worlds? I've, I've only heard good things. Let's take a look here at the, the deck. Let's see what else people have been posting. Uh, like I said, oh, you know, let's look at the ABR page. Like I said, um, tons and tons, especially in the uh, top cut here, Sable, which uh, I think is super great. <laughs> it's not just like seven Hoshikos and then one other thing. Um, so I think this was a really good top cut. Uh, in the end, Hoshika did clinch it um, with Sokka's deck. Uh, but you know, just looking at it and not having to just see entirely, uh, Anarchs, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll take that for sure. So, uh, NEH, solid ability. I am, I will say I'm kind of surprised to see, uh, outfit over here at the top because it's always been pretty solid, but all the way up here, um, and boat, uh, let's see, seventh in Swiss. Yeah. The Swiss rounds were kind to boat. It seems like, yeah, seven and then four. Uh, a top cut, maybe not as much, but Let's see what were the fashion representations. And even with the Hoshikos, there was a ton of diversity. Yeah, exactly. Revenge in school. It's just like you have, um, you know, a, still a pretty good amount of Hoshikos. You have five, but uh, like even before that, you have uh, for like if we're just looking like at top eight, um, we have um, what do we have here? We have four and four. Uh, then we have three sables. Uh, 419, which shoutouts to uh, Rongi Doge, uh, one of our local New England, uh, Boston uh, metamates, which is awesome seeing that. And then you have two Hoshikos and an Essa, which after how much Essa has been bricking on me whenever I bring uh, the deck day of <laughs> to a tournament, I'm just like, that. that's good. I'm glad to see that. It's not, it's clearly, it's like a skill issue for me. I just can't pilot the deck well enough to actually do well on the day of. Yep. How you been, Revenge and Swell? How's it going, man? Sorry I wasn't able to make it out last night to our uh, in-person meetup. I really wanted to. I just wasn't able to. Um, got busy at the end of the day. Uh, I feel like Hoshiko is more powerful because people are comfortable playing the ID rather than being a meta call. I, I think that's, yeah, that's a good point. It's just that, like, the ability is just strong. Like, you just get value from um, Hoshiko as an ID. You don't have to worry about... Um, necessarily everything else that you're going to put into the deck like you get rewarded for running and running is what you want to do in the game so yeah it's good um what, what was i doing though oh yeah mulch mulch wasn't that they were talking about that that deck in the um in the discord earlier today weren't they yeah working on getting some more folks to our meetups yes now that'd be fantastic. Uh, always good to have more people, especially since uh, I think we're like, there's just <laughs> the three of us now. Yeah, um, yeah. you know what? Tell you what, let's go ahead and take a look at this mulch deck that y'all were talking about. I was skimming the chat uh, earlier today, but I didn't get to do a deep dive into it. But this is the one, right? This is the mulch deck, Orange Sheeper. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's got all the simul chips. Um, all right. Got all our shoutouts. Very cool. Um, mulch. Oh, okay. This is the QTM deck, and that's why um, uh, Neon Static or um, uh, Canister was asking Izzy about what was going on with it. Um, okay. Very cool. Um, it was the main runner for Worlds. Uh, if not single best. It might be a tier one deck. Okay, so so definitely prepare for this is what it sounds like. Like get ready to see this on Saturday maybe. Um, uh, Monty brought this to cut and at fifteenth. Um, Pilot twenty fourth. Oh wow, that's that's fantastic. Oh my gosh, there's so much mulch, 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 mulch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, thought it wouldn't work, and then worked against PD, but thought it would obviously fold into Ob and three X Mavirus. Then we played. And it worked, but thought it would pull into assets. Then we played into assets, and it was still good. Oh, nice! It's it's the theory crafting that turns out to just be correct. 
Extreme's extremely hard to play. Okay. Yep. That, that's, a, I think, another thing I picked up on is that it, it's a tricky deck to play. It's not, like, um, super easy, too. Um, oh, my God. This is a long write-up. We'll try to see if we can skim this so we can actually play some games tonight. Um, idea is what a very synergistic package that allows us to compress a lot of value into single slots. Um, so cookbook, knob, and simul chip. Okay, so getting some good virus token use. Um, fermenter, imp is always nice. Oh, and Audrey, okay. Um, we're happy to mill as quickly as possible because late game, once we've done, that is usually very strong. Okay. Oh yeah, having to the ability to recur with simul chips. Let's see, cleaver saw and uh, Takobi. Oh, nice. Yeah, Takobi. Takobi is another one of those cool cards that I feel like doesn't actually make, like you don't see very often. It's like they're, like in any card game, I feel like there's always the the handful of set like, oh, these are these are very neat. They're very cool, but they don't make the cut for like more competitive decks. I could be wrong. I'm willing. I'm willing to walk that one back. But, um, Botulus Banhar. <laughs> Audrey deals with everything at some cost. Um. Lots similar way to uh, Amakua, but Imp and Knob help a lot. Okay, cool. And we have Leech. Let's see, things that Tor Corp can do to texture chips require to clot, popping the virus, Magnet. Magnet's always nice. Um, Gentuna was also in line to make the cut, but got COVID at the end of the Oh no, that's terrible. Ah, that's unfortunate. Uh, hopefully they're doing better. That sucks to have made it all the way there and then not, uh, able to play after day one. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Um, style run. Okay. Ah, Kevin. Hey, how's it going, man? How are you doing? QTM was pretty high on Takobi uh, not long ago for dealing with brands and such. Okay. Yeah, I'd like... Like... Oh, actually, you know what? what? Rather than just reading this, why don't we actually look at the deck for a little bit so I can... Um, let's see. See what they actually have going on and then remind myself about uh, Takobi. Let's see. Whenever you break a piece of ice, you may place a counter. Counter. Choose one installed non-AI icebreaker. He has plus three strength for the remainder of the current run. Yeah, like that seems so good. Like if you just get the counters on there, I say <laughs> I stay a turbine believer and a taco bean non-believer. I love turbine, so I you you might have me there. How are you doing, by the way, Kevin? How's it going? Hope you're having a good night. All right, right off the bat. I am immediately surprised at just the one copy of Dirty Laundry, even though we're running above max hand, uh, max uh, or minimum deck size. Because like Dirty Laundry, it's like you just put three of them in there. That's just the basics of deck building in Netrunner. You just put three. Three's good. Then we got the pinhole. Uh, okay, and then Strike Fun. The price. Um, and with 15 programs, not okay. Yeah, you're definitely gonna. Your odds are pretty good. You'll you're gonna get something off of the price. Um, two knobs, yeah, for the virus Pokemon because we got bot, we got the clot, we have a conduit, imp, leech, revolver, and only one copy of these. And then you have Audrey basically as your Amakua stand in for the faction. Pretty cool. Um, cookbook DJ. Okay, here's an interesting include because there's three, and I don't, I don't think I looked at this card and thought it would be three of but it's uh the lago shelter the first time each turn the corp installs a card in the root of a server you may trash the top card of your stack to draw one card <sighs> okay now that's interesting because like effectively you can I, I, arguably draw two cards right because then you have simul chip uh on board that you can um use if there's something you see in the bin that you want to get back um and then you get card draw as well that's oh, that's really neat what do they have to say about lago Let's see, uh, let's stack with the price and Lago, and then use the milled cards, label rights, uh, work, work similar, giving us one tech cards back for matchups where they're crucial. Okay, so it does seem like you have to have a good idea of what you're going to be running into when you're playing this deck. Um, <laughs> Lago basically only stops being valuable when the deck is over. Okay. Neat. Oh my gosh, this is so in-depth. I'm, I'm going to have to give this a read for sure. Have any of you guys um, had a chance to play against or play this deck? <laughs> I don't hear about it. No one, uh, also no one told me what mulch is. They just kept yelling mulch. <laughs> I love that deck name. It's great. Okay, and then there's the matchup data down here. Um, 
try to challenge remotes and remove a virus. I heard multiple QTM folks say to play the matchup and not the deck. I grinded some game with Mulch, felt like Shaper never touching it again. Nah, come on, Shaper's great. Shaper's a great faction. I'm not, I'm very intimidated by it. Yeah, it seems, this seems like one I would bring just for fun to try and like figure out how it works um, in paper. Um, but I dig it. It's it's very cool having like all these extra programs in Anarch and getting to see Nob. Nob is, Nob is a great console. Nice. All right. So um, as far as games for tonight, though, um, ah, there's mulch. <laughs> um, I was still interested in trying to work on some more Sable. So I've been going through a number of the Sable decks that we have here. Um, and I don't, yeah, Deer didn't post theirs, uh, I'm assuming. Um, so like I was just looking at top 16 because Swiss was very kind for Sable, um, seems like. And after playing it last time, uh, I, I feel like that it might just be a good one to try out as I'm trying to take a break from the Anarch faction. So, um, like looking at a bunch of these, there's a couple, you know, similar things. Maybe it's not too surprising for anyone um, familiar with the game, but um, like Bravado, Dirty Laundry, but there's like small differences between a bunch of them that I wanted to give a try and like cherry pick out of each of them. Um, for example, like, so, you know, there's the two archetypes, I guess, is like there's Deep Dive Sable, um, and some of them run three copies. Yeah, like here, the one from French Nats. Um, or it seems like just one is popular, but I did see some interesting things like Hanna, uh, which I haven't played with yet, but seems very good, especially if it's gonna be against um, Asset Heavy Corpse, I thought it would be fun. Uh, and then I was interested in trying out the Breaker Suite that uh, Cable Carnage had here with, excuse me, with Echelon and Unity. Um, but in the meantime, I think I picked a Mystic Miami I can actually just go open my my decks right now we can take a look to see what i put together um oh no i'm missing a <laughs> i'm missing a breaker here uh let's fix that real quick i was like no 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 this 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 looks different let's let's not um forget to add um shibboleth there we go 47 cards very good uh so yeah like a lot of them will have a mutual favor um some do an inside job uh, there's three mutual favors like there's like these small differences i just wanted to try and maybe make a deck that took a little bit of everything and see how it worked out one big thing i'm thinking about for for deck size like if i'm looking at this thing i built is maybe throwing away the bank rolls but bank rolls did very well uh last time i played um if anything just given how i play i'm more likely to get rid of the daily cast before anything um because it doesn't it never feels good whenever i install them I don't know about deep dive though. Deep dive in the same way that playing Essa, I feel like I've been burned on. Um, it always seems to brick on me when I, I needed to pull through. <laughs> so uh, I know it's very reliable and stable, but I'll probably uh, skip out on playing that. So, but yeah, let's um, remember to add the Shibboleth, save this deck, and then also be sure to add the Shibboleth uh, here on JNet. So I don't walk into a game without <laughs> a, uh, Kogi Breaker. There we go. All right, 47 cards. Looks good. Let's go ahead and get a game started. There we go. We got a game. Oh boy, can we get, should we mulligan for Hannah? <laughs> like, would that be a good play? And actually, uh, 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 I don't want to mulligan this Hannah in the first place because we don't really have any econ. Um, <laughs> yes, lol. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, no, no Hannah, but um, we got our Amakua and we can just start running and then building up those counters. Okay, we got the install. Okay, and then one 
on there. So if that's Rashida, I definitely want to want to go through. So let's okay. Let's probably draw first, install Amakua, hit R and D, uh, pinhole to see what this is, uh, and then. I think we get a click back. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's draw. See if we maybe get. Oh, okay. Uh, so install, install, run R and D, start building up these, and then pinhole. Will we have enough credits for that? Yeah, we have exactly enough. No, we don't have enough credits because we wouldn't be able to uh, trash. But let's put the bankroll down instead, so we can just start making some more money. Let's see what we get. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine um let's let's run it again let's run it back see what else is on top of our or actually no it could be a trap so let's just do what we're gonna do first archives uh to hit um server two yep there's uh rashida trash that nonsense um and then i think we want to gain we don't want to gain any credit we just want to run because i i the only thing I wouldn't want to run for in order to get counters on bankroll is just because I'm worried about like a trap or something. Um, but let's just go ahead and see what they're going to get next. Amani, okay. Whenever Jen is scored or stolen, if successful, add an installment card, okay. So if we just don't install anything, it's a card we don't have to worry about. Okay, yeah, they got the Maryland up. So probably... Okay, they drew. They have mandatory. First click is to draw, install. And then what else do you have? Okay, I, oh, I know exactly what this deck is now. Okay, should I be worried? How, like, how worried should I be? Not again. You got to tell me that at least. Um, R&D again. Ooh, okay. Let's um, gain a credit, put daily casts on board, draw daily casts, or no, draw credit, daily cast run? Eh, probably draw, no, I think we're going to be okay. Gain a credit. Daily casts, run HQ. <laughs> Tomorrow's headline. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's not a nice deck. You could have guessed that from the NBN. Oh, yeah, NBN's not a nice faction. All right. Uh, do I have a window for this bankroll uh, prior to stealing? I want to make sure. Um, I don't have to be worried anymore. Okay. Let's see if... Uh, I always forget the timing window of it. No window? Okay, no window. Oh, okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see what they say. Uh, I don't think so, but actually, I don't think I have window to res either. Uh, to get it to res either. <laughs> Alright, um... Agree with Kevin? Okay, so good to know ahead of time. So this is gonna fire... Um... Yeah, give me a tag. I don't want to be tagged. Traits, strength three. So I could spend three. So hard. I think I think I let it bounce. Yep. And then we're gonna run. I'm willing to bet that they can't res this. I, so I can run R and D and then remove the tag uh, with the click after. And I don't have anything else installed, so let's see what they have. 
Oh, give them another tag. Okay, that's fine. Now we're just gonna float tags. Reach server. Yeah, pay to trash. And then we can just go, we just go to town. Um, let's at least remove a tag. All right. Oh, we got wage workers. So we got rid of two Rashidas at least. Okay, it's R&D again. Um, so we can always get through the virtual service agent. What we would really like is to have a twinning. Um, but with tags, we're not going to be able to keep it on the board. So let's maybe... Let's draw up. Okay. Ping is two, VSA is two, and even Vasily is two. Three credits is enough for a lot of taggy ice. Okay, thanks. I I haven't seen like the um the ice suite in a while. Let's see. I think I want to take and then remove a tag. So they're gonna be able to start just slamming things on the board and installing. Okay, there's a pad campaign. <laughs> hey. How's it going, Neon Static? How are you guys doing tonight? Or I guess it, this is just uh, Eric, right? It's just your, you run it. <laughs> uh, but not much, not much. Just um, finally carving out some time in the week to play Netrunner and just kind of going back to Sable and trying it out. Um, all right, now we have more servers. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's run HQ because we get to do that for free. Uh, Oppo Research, okay. Um, they give me a bunch of tags. All right, so let's just take, th let's click three times, put a daily cast down. Gotta get our econ back up. Two new players, yeah, I saw that. I saw you had two new players, that's awesome. The, uh, the New Hampshire local meetup grows. That's super cool. <laughs> yeah, you guys have the tournament coming up this weekend. I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to, to make it out because uh, Midgard's a very cool store. And it'd be nice to have like a big, um, uh, to attend a big tournament again. What decks did you bring tonight? What did you play? All right. Let's see if we can't. Archives. Let's just try to fix our board state. Okay, there's a twinning. Very nice. Um, but I don't have anything for spending credits off of. So let's gain a credit. Put our other daily cast down. Yeah, that'll do it. And then I'm wondering what's in server two. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so HQ's protected now. They have a pretty decent amount of money. So I'm wondering... NGO front? No, Bologna. Bologna, probably. Alright, so we gained this. So we would get up to six credits. Yeah, slap this on here and then run. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to get in there. Um, as far as it being an artificial crypto crash, maybe that's something it could be. Um, so part of me thinks maybe we go broke here at the end of the turn by playing um, the class act so that if it is a crypto crash and it gets scored, we don't lose anything afterwards. Um, they score an agenda uh, while you're on zero credits. Amani will hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because it's scored or stolen. Um, but they're really slow rolling it. That doesn't feel like a real agenda. You don't think so? All right. I'm wondering if it could be something tricky. Uh, like, um, just because it's currently relevant, like Clearing House. <laughs> if, it's gone, if it's Crypto Crash, it's gone anyway. Yeah, that's true. Um, God, I really want to get uh, Twinning started. Um... Clearing house is your gut? Okay. 
You know what? Well, I'll trust the gut of the Twitch chat and we'll leave it be. Let's try to just get some stuff uh, on the board. Um... Okay. Let's just uh, class act to draw. All right, and then we, oh, diversion of funds is pretty nice. <laughs> um, we don't need a twinning, so we can put that at the bottom. Um, can force a res here. Let's see how that, let's see what we would get out of, or what they get out of that. Trix Crypto, Trix Bologna, Headline, Degree Mill. Uh, let's see. I think we can just take two credits. That'll give us some room to start next turn. Oh, good. Finally, my, my draw with the Earthrise. is a very good agenda. <laughs> Are you thinking about like a deck that would run it or like if it was in this deck? So do they pump this up so that it would be at six so that on the next go around? Yep. Okay, what do we got? There's the Bologna. Uh, boostling strength. Nope. So that resolves. Something's going to get bounced. Daily cast. That's fine. All right. Now we have archives available for run. Uh, let's let's see what we can do here. That would be best. Probably gain a credit. Gain a credit. Sure gamble. Amakuma. Uh, run archives. We get the click and we get the counter back. Then we can start doing things with Leech. Hmm. A lot of options. Let's see. Let's ping archive so we can get the um Okay, it's an oppo research. Yeah, okay, we got the clickback. Um, let's see. Uh, Ian's deck was kill any age running false leads. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, I'll have to look at that one. There's so many new decks published now that world's just wrapped up. Yeah, it was really cool. I'm glad that we got a lot of new decks um, out from that event. Uh, let's see, what do I want to install? Because I'm going to have to throw some stuff away. Maybe I want to get the Shibboleth out. I have to remember what Shibboleth is at, actually. Yeah, because it goes down to strength um, one when we're at threat four. So I would actually have to pump it. Actually, I could install the leech, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. So let's see. So I could play mutual favor to install Shibboleth. And then I could leech. Um, then we could just start getting through here and locking down R&D, which feels pretty good. And then we have the discard down, so let's get rid of... Um, we're not seeing any of our things for uh, triggering twinning, um, and the other ones at the bottom of the stack anyway. Uh, Earthwise, Earthrise probably. Um, and we only have the one Carmen, so I feel like we want to keep it. So let's ditch, yeah, twinning maybe. All right, so that's going to shuffle R&D, I believe. Yeah, it shuffled it into R&D. Install, install. Artificial Crypto Crash. Gain two agenda points. Okay, we're broke. All right, what are they going to bounce? So it was a Crypto Crash. Okay. 
Let's see. So we gain two off the daily casts. Um, let's see, we install... Let's see. I wonder if we could walk through this and just take some tags in order to get through it. But it's R&D. We probably want to get through to R&D just to see what's going on there. Ugh, rough econ spot. Okay. Let's hit ping archives to get a counter, run through virtual service agent to check the top deck, um, and then we can gain some credits after that. All right, let's run R&D. There we go, breach, get the click back. It's just a daily business show. Uh, t -t -t -t. Ah, this is a really rough spot, not having econ here. Ah, even more money, all right. It's been a while since I've seen bladder work. Oh God, all right, let me just zoom out a little here. So the question is, is this another agenda? It could be... <sighs> what could it be? It could be... Because if it's a two-pointer, they win. So we might have to just run through to try and check it. Um, if it's a Bologna, we don't get the steal. Mm -hmm. We could... Diversion of funds with a boomerang on HQ, but we don't have another HQ to draw... Or uh, another boomerang that we've drawn into yet. Hmm. We might have to, though. Try and force them uh, lose some cash. Can we get a click back? Hmm. It's most likely a two-strength ice. I gotcha. Probably should have been more aggressive with the Amakua runs there than if it's gonna if it's supposed to be low strength ice. Um or pink. Here, let's uh let's start with running uh something here. So we can do a credit, boomerang, and then play the diversion of funds to get through. So that we'd at least have some more money on the next go around. It could be a crypto crash. That's something they could have for sure, but then that would just be game. So I think we want to gain a credit, put this here. Diversion. Oh, okay. What do you doing each? All right. Declines to use. Okay. So let's break uh, net damage and giving the runner a tag. At this point, it doesn't really matter if we have tags. So let's break two subroutines. Let's break getting net damage and having them draw cards. funds. Shuffle that back in. And then... Okay. Let's go run. Check R&D. It's another wage workers and turn. Score 4-2 with no advancement through the wage workers, which is relevant. Uh, that's true. Yep, there it is. GG. I'll zoom this back in. Oh, okay. I was going to ask what they had here for the uh, ice here on server 2, but probably something cheap. It's probably worth it to run. 
uh, to force it. I feel like that's something I struggle with uh, in my game is I need to recognize, just force it, just like run, just see what they could have. Um, actually, Kevin, that's the mistake I made with your game. I should have just, uh, when we had the GNK, that not again organized, I should have just ran just to contest it, no matter what it would have been. So it could have played more aggressively. And Amani came in um, very handy for them because uh, what did they bounce? They bounced a daily cast that was fully loaded and Amakua. So that was unfortunate for me. But all right, let's leave this guy and see if we can go ahead and just have another one up. Oh, okay, I finally, uh, I just saw, uh, Eric, that you mentioned what decks you played about bringing Mulch, a new world's asset-based R+, and Bridgeman's kill combo RH. How was Mulch? We were actually talking about that deck earlier uh, in the stream and how it looks wild. I'm not having a night. Hey, thanks for dropping by, Revengeance Full. You take care. deck and look at it again because it seems very fun. See two labor rights. Yeah, seeing both the strike fund and the price is uh it's interesting because I don't I don't feel like that was uh like anything any uh, people would consider. Um and then just the one X M so it's like a lot of only one copy of um pretty critical cards so just playing the matchup instead. Pretty handy that there's a guy at least. It's it was very cool, like old anarch dressing stuff left and right, smashed together with Shaver. That's exactly what um uh uh not again was saying. It feels very Shaver. <laughs> Let's see the skunk cult. Oh, actually, I think I did. Here, let me pop into the Discord. I should be able to take a look at it. Um, this is the one for the New York uh what is it um champion of subways. Or what is it called? The tournament that they have going on? A Sovereign of Subways, that's what it is. Alright, we got PE. So, Earthrise is good. Info Bounty is good, so we can start getting some money. I think we do keep this. Armies would be really nice, but I don't think it's something we want to uh, mulligan for. Yeah, that skunk work looks looks great. It's actually a skunk. The guide is extensive. That's very handy. But yeah, we got PE. I know. Wasn't there a PE deck that did pretty well? Got worlds as well. I feel like I haven't seen PE uh, in tournament setting in a long time. Or at least I haven't been running into it. Alright, we got three. That's fine with me. Uh, we get the free click up off, off of Archives, so we could draw and gain some money. We're at over minimum deck size, so it's actually not too bad of an idea, honestly. Um, so let's draw, draw. Oh, there's Hermes. Perfect. Hermes came to us. Let's go hit uh, Archives to get money and then the free click. Let's put Hermes on the board and then probably daily cast as well so we can just start having some econ to install the things that we want. Let's see. Okay, yeah, there was uh, 18 was uh, Yomi and Everyone We Know uh, with, by Jessica Marvels. That's what it was. Um... RH was top gen techie. Uh, a shell game PE bubbled out of the top, sadly, due to SOS. Ah, okay. I see, I see. Okay, so we have 
uh, archives again for our for our one. So as far as what ice they have, probably anemone. I'm feeling like anemone is pretty good. Um, and stuff that we want to run into. They have plenty of money, so why don't we just continue to draw and keep it cool for a little bit. Let's info bounty, credit, Earthrise Hotel? Yeah, so because we then we consistently get money from running, uh, which is pr pretty handy. There we go. Yeah, let alone Shell Game. Shell Game I feel like I haven't seen in a long time either. Alright, there's a House of Nines. Let's go ahead and just bounce this back. It would be a piece of ice. Alright, I lost the Wake Implant, which is kind of over. Let's trigger Info Bounty. Um, that, that's weird. Why, why I did that? Okay, it's R&D. Uh, the same for both. Okay, yeah, that was weird. Alright, we drew two cards. So, we have a Chesva. If we could start getting some... Um, value out of uh, twinning that would be handy but we might just need to go and take it easy for a little while so let's draw uh, bankroll run R&D if you install info banner you should run the archives to get 2c oh no I was archives last turn um... oh yeah that's right I should have I should have done that last turn I should have that's my bad all right, there's an Ivic, that's fine. Um, so we get the click back. And there is uh, actually a reason we'd wanna go ahead and install an Amakua then since they, um, do have some big ice. So let's go ahead and just put that little turtle down. Yeah, Mark was known, that's right. That was my mistake. Okay, on archives. On R D, okay. So they couldn't res the Ivic, but they could res an anemone. But Earthrise is going to help us at least draw up to where to be where we want to be at. Okay. Now let's do this. Let's get daily casts, info bounty. Yeah, so we're on archives. So as far as we we could expect, let's let's draw first. Then let's go ahead. Oh, diversion of funds? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so I think we can breach this. Trigger diversion of funds. Run archives. Get our money and our click back. All right. Um, and then we still have some cards in hand. So we can go ahead and they don't have any money. So if anything's a trap here, we can actually just go ahead and check it. Um, so why don't we go ahead? Like I'm trying to think what could be like the worst thing to hit and run into um, would be a snare they can't trigger. They can trigger an Urtic Cypher. Um, but that would be it really. They couldn't trigger a uh, clearing or a uh, Cerebral Overrider. So let's just go ahead and go hit something. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Oof, <I'm... laughs> it smells like snares in HQ. All right, Urtic Cypher, pay to trash. That's fine. Bravado? Oh yeah, yeah, Bravado would be good. And then we lost it though. God. Okay, we're at HQ, Daily Cast, Info Bounty, and then... Oh, we got the Hannah. We got the Hannah, the card I wanted. Or be responsible and check the remotes. Yeah, I feel, I feel like that's that's always a good play, is just being responsible, checking remotes. Um, So let's uh, draw up. Perfect. Let's... Uh, let's go hit HQ. see what we find it could be a snare oh there's an NGO yeah you could trash that and then bankroll has us very rich 
so we could do Hannah, gain a click and run something. But I feel like one of one of, I feel like server two's server two is a snare. I feel like. So let's um, sure gam let's draw sure gamble Earthrise. Or actually, we're we're pretty big with bankroll right now, so we don't have to worry about that. So I think we could do Hannah. Um, play the Earthrise so we don't lose it, and then we can click to run server four. They could they could ping with House of Knives, gotta remember that. Um, I don't want to flatline too early. So let's um, maybe force their hand, try to get them to spend something. So let's go check R&D. Okay, reach. There's our Genesis. All right, choose an unres card. Uh, you know, put this one back in your hand. <laughs> Let's see. And we lost uh, the Chesva. All right, we'll take it. Let's go try R&D again. Reach a Sting. Okay. <laughs> Let's put this unres card back as well. Oof. Not losing what I want to. Um, let's just draw a card. We definitely don't need to worry about um, Econ anymore with this bankroll at seven credits. Okay. But at least we're working through the House of Knives, which is uh, very annoying when having to deal with it. Okay, it's our turn. Uh, we're on archives this time, so let's draw. And then we could Bahia Bands. Let's see. They still can't resin Ivic, so we could get through to archives. Um, so I think we draw, draw, try the Bahia Bands. Oh, we have Flip Switch. Nice. Let's try this. All right, reach. Let's trigger that, get my click back, get a bankroll. Let's draw two cards. Um, we can install a card paying one less from grip. We have the twinning now, and we have something in the deck that could uh, theoretically start triggering its effects. We lost the Chesapa, so there's... Um, uh, like, what is there? There's the Mystic Miami which we haven't seen at all. Let's see. Yeah, I think maybe we just have the bank on finding like our wake or something. That would be more useful. We didn't lose that, right? No, we did lose that. We lose, We lost that really early. Um, let's install Hannah. Well, we will start checking easier that way. Let's run R&D again. Because that House of Nines is now blank. There's a snare. Uh, let's see. Pay zero to trash. Um, remove tag. Okay, they are broke now. Which is pretty good for us. Yep, click credit credit. But at least that means for the meantime, we draw up and then we run. R and D, great. Draw, draw. Uh, we don't want to lose class act, do we? <laughs> to some random net damage. So I think we just uh, throw it out there. Um, let's run our, or let's put class act down. Run R and D. Reach. Get that click back. I'm more trash the top three of the stack. Trash I'm more. Okay, interesting. So now we have some clicks, and now we're just gonna draw a card. Fantastic. Now we have a lot of health. We just start uh, running again. All right. 
they it's only have the one credit or so that's if that's they could it could be an Urtica, which I wouldn't be thrilled about, honestly. Um, or it could be an agenda. So at the very least, though, I just have to check to see what it is. Um, Got to be responsible. So let's. And then it's also R&D for click game. So let's do this. Let's start with, let's see, start with ser server seven. It could be an NGO front. Yep, there we go. All right. So now they're in the money. Um, gotta remember Evix numbers. Yeah, it's seven, and then it's strength five. So Shibboleth actually would be okay for now. So I think we can just go ahead and just uh, run with Reckless Abandon. And we can provide. I want to use bravado for money, but like we're uh, this bankroll is getting so big. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's go hit R and D. Okay, I think it's an Ivic because they're they're taking their time. They're thinking about it. Yep, there we go. So let's take this money. Uh, match strength. Oh wait, it's a barrier. That's right. Shit. Just hit uh, R&D. All right, let that fire. All right. Um. Yeah, that was ugh, that was an ugly mistake. We lost the barrier breaker, Kurapira. So let's run HQ. And then let's run HQ again, and then we can get through no issues. Regenesis. Choose an unres card. Uh, you can put that one back. That's fine. All right, they gain three. We are going to gain uh, some cards. <laughs> let's do that. Um, put uh, Amaku at the bottom of the stack. Let's draw again and probably play Doof, uh, banking on us being able to get through whatever they have uh, here. And if they res it, then we don't need to trigger Doof's ability. We can just get in. Uh, let's see, draw, diversion of funds. reach get our money trigger diversion of funds <clears throat> and now we can just run again on hq just to see what they have possibly trashing something okay we're good this bankroll is huge <laughs> all right yeah they're getting money again okay we're in a really good spot here uh, that's two diversion of funds that we've been through right okay 15 cards left in the stack. So we do got to start making some headway into R&D and getting um, some points. Let's put you at the bottom. Let's, uh, yeah, let's run R&D. On side review, okay. Um, we lost a twinning. Let's put, oh, you know what? We should have put the leech down first so we can just start um, building up counters on that, but I'm not super worried about that. 
go on HQ. It's a snare, which they cannot pay for. Let's see. Let's run HQ again. So they probably had a snare on the board, and that's what we got rid of. There's mitosis. <laughs> um. trying to think this could be like an Urtica or something, but I don't want them to be able to get like a House of Knives cheekily scored out. So I think we just run server five, whatever it is, regardless. Reach, Urtica, right? Yep, that's fine. Trash that, and then we'll just draw another card. A big rolling, yeah, no kidding. All right. Hansai review, very nice. And then we are gonna just take some of that money for ourselves. So let's draw, see what we get. We get the twinning. Um, and hopefully we'll get Puemu eventually. So let's put the bankroll at the bottom. Uh, let's, uh, let's see, I think draw again, and then diversion of funds. I put, I put Puemu in this deck, right? <laughs> Another Hansai review. Okay. So they're trashing something. Okay. And that's... Oh, interesting. Okay, they put some ice up on it. I respect it. Okay. Um, but it's still going to cost them to do stuff and prevent me. All right. Let's draw a card. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's Poemu. Um, when your turn begins, or you steal. When your turn begins, or you steal an agenda. Okay, um, I kind of wanted both of these, uh, and I don't really want to play too much stuff. So let's start here. Let's go check R&D for two points. That could just, honestly, that could just be a spin doctor. So we could just leave it alone. So let's put Twinning Miami run R&D we break Ivic for two with the good turtle boy get our click back it's a magnet um let's see and then I think we I think we'll just draw another card Okay, start turn. Okay. So they drew the magnet, and they didn't do any advancements on this, so I do think it's a spin doctor. So I think we want to check R&D, uh, go check archives. And we, oh, we get the two and the click back, so I think we check R&D, check archives, and then if they do pop it in server eight that I think they're going to, we check R&D again. Um, so let's... Dirty laundry so that we um, get the counter off of twinning or get it onto twinning, I should say. Um, or do we want to do bravado? I probably want to do bravado, right? Let's see. Okay. And then hit R and D, continuing encountering the ice. They perched. Oh, sorry. It's a perch. No, no, that would have been the good play. All right, so that puts us in a trickier spot. Um, let's see. They could... I'm trying to think what they could have. They could have another Ivic on uh, archives. That's something they could be doing. Yeah, I definitely cannot break Ivic. I don't even have my Barrier Breaker. 
uh, since we lost that early on. Let's try hitting archives, see what happens. Okay, there's the anemone. Yep, um, let's see, one net damage. I don't even have my Century Breaker. Let's see, I think we go ahead though. We could score and then we would get pinged down though. So I think we jack out. We're gonna draw. And then we're gonna set aside that dirty laundry we don't need. We're gonna draw again. Let's see, and then I think we just overwrite our class act. Because we don't really gain anything from trying to get into HQ. Okay, there's our Carmen. So we can just start pinging. Um, Let's see. Yeah, scores for Genesis for a Fuji. Yep, very nice. Choose an unrest card. Let's get rid of that. Okay, that puts them up to five, which is pretty nice. Um, but we need a way to get through this Ivic. Lost the Amakua again, Jesus. Um, I think we just start running. Let's hit HQ. We're gonna get these points back. Anemone. Let's see what else they have in archives. We lost our leech, right? Yeah, we did. Run HQ. Vampire Nessa. Okay. Let's hit archives. And we'd only have to spend one to get through. All right. We do this again. Q, reach, uh, zero, definitely just want the counters, um, and then we're going to hit HQ again so that we can get through uh, next time, zero cards, there we go, okay, now we can break Ivic again, but they could purge and then we just run back again, <laughs> all right, install. All right, advance once. Yeah, I think we just risk it. So actually we could just inside job. And that's probably the Vampire Nasa. So let's, um, we could inside job on server eight that will give us the additional counters from Mystic. Let's, and then we want HQ for Sable, okay. card to go to the bottom. Bankroll can go to the bottom. There's Poemu. So Triple Overrider. Alright. Pay zero to trash. Let's run R&D. Actually, we should draw first and then run R&D. Fully break. All right, breach. And then, yep, yeah, two extras. Yeah, we'll trash that spin doctor. Government subsidy and a data loop. Oh, nothing interesting. Okay. Uh, end turn discard down to four. Uh, we'll get rid of this daily casts. That was unfortunate. All right. Let's see. Let's trash this. Uh, put our Carmen down, probably. Oh, they're broke, actually. We don't need to worry about that. So we can just keep hitting. We can just go back to HQ again a bunch of times. Archives. Let's see. 
and then well, we don't get anything out of running um, let's go ahead HQ like we just are trying to get uh, back up so that we're able to get through to R&D but this game might be done they're broke though just keep running HQ yeah I only ran archives because I wanted to get um, some money out of it um, let's see I could draw winning get a counter on yeah, losing the Chesva early was unfortunate um, so that we can just start accessing uh, more cards so they've drawn two up so the government subsidy and the data loop I think um, so let's draw our last bank roll um, we can check HQ so we can get some uh, twinning accesses archives for money and stuff okay <laughs> All right, there's another anemone. Very nice. I don't want to access anything there. Run R&D. Holy break. Lindsay and a sting. So we can use Hermes to bounce this back for no reason. And then uh, we're done because we're only at four points. Um, the only other option we have is to try and find a Fuji. So that's going to be difficult. Um, I guess we saw the Min Lindsay and then we took the Sting. So unless we could find another Fuji somewhere. Um, but they can just purge on this next round because we don't have the Carmen down. We would have flatlined if we didn't install Carmen, interestingly uh, enough. So I think we might be done here. Um, yeah, let's just gain a credit. <laughs> There's nothing for us to draw. All right. Let's check, because they have to draw it up. Let's check R&D. Government subsidy. Um, we could go to archives just to get the uh, money and the click. they could purge yeah and that'll be fine which i'm pretty sure is going to happen i'll be right back guys one sec Ah, yeah, losing the, uh, <laughs> losing the Carmen there and not being able to get in after a while, that was rough. So, some unlucky accesses. If we were able to top deck one of the Fujis, that would have been good. But then running into what would have definitely been a flat line uh, was unfortunate. <laughs> let's see. As far as things we lost, let's take a look. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Yeah, use, losing weight game plan was kind of rough um, because we were able to ping into HQ a lot and then just having just losing it early on was unfortunate because then it kind of just cut me out from a reliable um, multi-axis because then we also lost Chesma. And then when we finally got twinning on board, it just didn't do anything for us, uh, unfortunately. So yeah, that was rough. It's been a while since I played Shell Game though, so that made it pretty fun. But a lot of similar pieces here. There's NGO, the Snares. So had that for a little while, but being able, hmm, I, I feel like maybe should have contested this for Genesis earlier. Like I should have been more committed to protecting or um, to checking the remote servers. So that's what I should have focused on. So, but yeah, good stuff. Um, still not a fan of single breakers. It feels very spicy. I think I might just not be at a level where I'm comfortable with it though. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, close that one up. I'm actually gonna go take a quick break, um, but I will be back and we'll get one more game in before we call it a night, I think. I'm here a little bit. I think I'm just going to tune the deck and we're going to try... Let's switch it up. Let's take out some of the stuff and let's put in a deep dive. Let's give that a shot. And also, two 20s might be too many. <laughs> too many, it feels like. So, why don't we try... Take this out. Let's see. You know, with all the acid decks... I'm looking at some of the other lists again, and like Miss Bones would be useful. Thanks for dropping by, uh, uh, Neil Static. Have a good night, Eric. Hopefully, I'll see you Saturday. Um, t -t 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 yeah, maybe Hannah was fun. I do like having Hannah around. That was pretty cool. Um, so as far as like what other Sable stuff is going on, uh, Nuka is popular, so we could do Nuka, and then we kind of just go heavy in on our draw. So let's put three Nukas. We get rid of Miami, Puemu. Um, and then we're at 15 exactly with a deep dive, a lot of draw, and then we have a Hannah. I think this is okay. This seems like something that would be good to try out. So, um, yeah, like I like twinning, but wasn't firing off for me. Um, I know I swore off deep dive, but I think we can go ahead and give it a shot tonight just to... Uh, 
maybe like kind of um, go around and try every uh, sable thing that was going on at Worlds. So we'll just make this quick little change, take out Poemu and stuff, and then we'll see how this one goes. Um, yeah, one last game. Ah, the fourth, the, uh, the 47 cards. I feel like I should take some stuff out if I'm going to do it this way. Well, we can get rid of the Chesva because we don't have uh, twinning. Like, that sounds good. Um, and then... Let's see. What seems like the best thing to pull out? We can get rid of Earthrise and then put in a Miss Bones instead. And now I'm wondering how close this is to, like, the last deck I played. Um, but, uh, no, that one... Let's see, did you have Miss Bones? Yeah, you had Miss Bones. Okay, but then also Chesva and we're twinning for the win condition. Okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and give this a try. You know, work with some uh, some Deep Dive, see if Deep Dive is a little kinder to me. But only one copy. And it feels like, you know, having two would be nice, but um, trying to see, maybe it's just something we have to keep in hand and be aware of until we can actually use it for the win. Um, but all right. Let's give this one a shot too. Right. So last game for the night. And I know ever since it was introduced, like uh Deep Dive has just been like used for Sable. Like it's just a really good uh combination because you naturally get the effect. And you could technically like run Swift if you wanted to be very greedy with your um with your clicks. And I think Swift is a great console. Oh, we got a we got a match. Let's hop in here. Oh, outfit. Okay, cool. Um, no, this is this is definitely a mulligan. All right, we have Hannah, which ironically I, I don't think is going to be very useful this matchup, um, since outfit is not very. <laughs> okay, there we go. Good stuff. Let's draw, draw. Um. We're not going to get into R&D anytime soon. Let's draw um, Dirty Laundry, or Bankroll, then Dirty Laundry. No, we can draw, draw. Um, yeah, Bankroll, Dirty Laundry into Archives. So they already have some bad pub, which is good for us. I think we want to get armies out onto the board next turn. That way, any agendas they're going to try to start scoring out of hand, we can uh, throw stuff back into their hand. Okay, yep, yeah, there's a hostile. That's all right. Draw, draw, daily cast or Hermes. So if they want to do that again. Oh, spin doctor, okay. I think we go ahead and do run that for the trash. That's okay. Oh, okay. They're going to keep that guy up. That's fine. We can sit here and not have to worry too much about what this, this should be a fun game. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm wondering exactly how fun it's going to be. Because um, I definitely am going to need some econ here. And I don't want to click for credits. All right, there's a Miss Bones. Let's see. Uh, do we buy a band's archives just so we, that we can get... Um, I think we have to be cocky. I think we want to use this to pop <laughs> the Spin Doctor. Um, and then... Uh, or we can get into R&D for one access. Um, okay. God, they had like such a good, perfect start. Um, yeah, we can get in here. And then pop... Uh, either they pop Spin Doctor or we go ahead and just clear it and then we just kind of click up for credits for a little while. But it would be a run uh, successful, so um, we'd still get the bankroll money. Oh yeah, that's right. We have uh, two bad pub. We can just get in. Trash for free. And then we can play Bahia Bands, draw two cards, hitting Archives. Bankroll, draw two cards. Um, 
Oh, perfect. Yeah, let's just go crazy on Mangrel. <laughs> uh, install a card, paying one less. Uh, and let's just run uh, Archives again. And we just get even more money. Trojan? All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to boost. That's a bummer. All right. Uh, let's see. HQ, not what I want. Let's draw up. Let's see, and then not we, what we want either. Um, see, it's tree line. I think we just, I'm gonna go ahead and click. That's okay. And we'll discard Miss Bones. All right. See, I'll take two tags and then, let's see, which one do I wanna get rid of? I think probably this. So we're looking at some end of the lines for sure. Um, geez. Yeah, let's diversion of funds. Uh, remove our tags. And then probably uh, draw up. Or actually, let's draw first. And then remove tags. Okay. Yeah, Ice is back online. That's okay. Hopefully we draw into an Amakua soon. Okay. Spin Doctor again. That's not even a particularly scary tree line. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got Ice. Ice on board. Let's see. I have to force them to start resing something. So let's draw... Draw... Sure Gamble... Probably Dirty Laundry HQ, just to force them to res something. Um, oh, let's just run it. Let's just run HQ. Boredom. Okay. So if we could get our Shibboleth out, if we could get any of our Code Breakers out, that would be nice. Um... Discard uh, Hermes. It definitely is a game. I will say that. <laughs> Not again. It is a game. I'm having a time. Oh, we're going up. Okay, border control probably. And then that's an agenda. Probably a 3-2. Um, Alright. We got, we got to get something here. <laughs> There's Deep Dive. Not what we're looking for. Um... See, let's draw again. Okay, there's a class egg. Now that that's a borehole. <laughs> this is the borehole deck. Uh, borehole uh, deck play. Let's try to hit uh, R and D. See what they res. All right, there's a Pharos. Go ahead. All right, just put this down. Uh, discard down to five cards. We'll get rid of. Um... Ah, jeez, everything's so good. Let's get rid of. Um... I feel like flip switch is fine. Okay, then we drew up a bunch of stuff. We got our Carmen, not especially useful right now. We are looking for our Shibleth or our Barrier Breaker. Yep. Okay. So I lost Bravado, Hannah, Dirty Laundry, Carmen. Blech. Although I don't know about how useful Carmen would be um, right now anyway. Draw up. There's Kurapira. Let's see, let's put the sure gamble down at the bottom. And then before five, six, seven to get through to R and D. But we would be able to get through is the thing. Really want them to res anything right now. I think I just want to put the Kura beer down and just start gaining some credits. Okay, what do we got? Hostile? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can put this back in your hand. 
our turn. We're on R and D. Okay. Uh, so we spend. Okay, we gain a click and. Uh, yeah, because we need five. So we'll do. Honestly, I could take the tag. Not really afraid of end of the line, but I don't think I want to. So it'll be four, five, six, seven. So I need to click, click. Uh, yeah, Barado. Or Critic Credit Barado. Okay, get through. Get a click back. See a trebuchet. All right. draw up see if we can find our shibboleth as well oh there's a nuka that's pretty nice so bravado will go on the bottom and then uh let's uh anything else we can hit right now no and we don't really want to so let's gain a credit okay could that be five points there or three points there Let's nuka, draw up. Let's put uh, probably classic at the bottom. We don't need that. Um, let's see, we can technically get through here, right? Yeah, so let's see what they have over here at the front. Make them spend it. Oh, there's the trebuchet. All right. Oh, wait. Forgot about bad pub, because I have a lot of it. <laughs> I bet forgot about the bad pub. Uh, go ahead. Right. Let's see. Yeah, I'll match it. So we'll spend six. This is rough. Yeah, because I could get an Amakua, and then that would be it. So let's do this. Um, throw the pin all away, because that's not going to be useful. Yep. GG. Oof, that was rough. <laughs> I was thinking for a while that it wasn't going to be an agenda that was sitting in there, but... Uh, let's see. Missed. So Hermes got to fire twice. Missed that first hostile. I wonder if I should have just thrown it down at the start. Like, it would have been uh, better to just go ahead and start with it. Um, even losing, like, value out of having the, um, dirty laundry down. So, ugh, rough night. Rough night for playing Krim. <laughs> uh, let's see. There was, yeah, the two big, but they had a really good start. Getting the money they needed. Hordum and Pharaohs. Yeah, they could have res both, uh, right from the jump. Uh, so, ugh. Um, did not go how I expected. Um... But also it was a little rough trying to find the breakers, so I can see it makes sense to having the three mutual favors, that's for sure. But all right, that's going to do it for tonight, though. Uh, thanks, everyone, for dropping by. I hope everyone has a good rest of the week, and hopefully we'll be able to make it out uh, Saturday for the New Hampshire tournament. For those of you who might be in the area, why don't we go ahead and look at it real quick? There we go. Um, t -t 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 I'm going to post this probably Friday. No, I'll, I'll probably try to post it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Um, for any of you folks who are out here in the New England land, um, there's a tournament that's going to happen over here uh, in uh, New Hampshire Dairy at Midgard Games. Um, and you should definitely come by and check it out. There's a pretty good number of people who are already going. So uh, if there's just more folks, that's even better. Um, I'm hoping to make it out, but we'll see what actually happens. In the meantime, um, clearly I have to work on my runner game as usual. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a good week. Take care.